pollution levels in New Delhi have been a hot topic recently, with the media highlighting the high AQI values. But do you know what AQI is and how it is determined? Welcome to Telangana today. In the video, let's understand what the air quality index is and how it is measured. The air quality index was created to help communicate the severity of air quality levels for multiple pollutants to the public, the risks they carry and recommended defensive measures. AQI is a number which is a measure of air quality. The higher the AQI, the worse the air. Launched by the central government in 2014 as part of the Swachh Bharat campaign, the color code AQI helps simplify the common understanding of pollution. Eight pollutants, namely particulate matter PM2.5 and PM10, ozone, carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, lead and ammonia emissions act as major parameters in deriving the AQI of an area. The AQI is calculated based on the average concentration of a particular pollutant measured over a standard time interval. The standard time interval is 24 hours for most pollutants and 8 hours for carbon monoxide and ozone. All 8 pollutants may not be monitored at all the locations. Overall AQI is calculated only if data is available for minimum of 3 pollutants of which one should necessarily be either PM2.5 or PM10. The final AQI is equal to the highest of the AQI values calculated separately for each pollutant and the corresponding pollutant is also reported. As per the Central Pollution Control Board, AQI is categorized into 6 parts. AQI between 0 and 50 is considered good, 51 and 100 satisfactory, 101 and 200 moderate, 201 and 300 poor. 301 and 400 very poor and between 401 and 500 severe. Each country calculates AQI based on its national air quality standards and the terminology used to describe the bands also varies.